one between the two Democratic contenders for president. The contentious issue tonight, and it's clearly more personal than policy, is a picture of Obama taken two years ago in traditional Somalian clothes. No one knows for sure who released it, although Senator Clinton is not denying her campaign was responsible. How much of an issue is this? Political reporter Dave Evans is here with the story. David? Well, Bill, that photograph may be a crude attempt by somebody to stoke fear among some voters to confuse them about Senator Obama's ethnicity and his religion. Obama's campaign staff is livid about it. The Clinton campaign says it doesn't know exactly how all this began. Cincinnati, this is our moment. As Barack Obama campaigned in Ohio and as Hillary Clinton delivered a foreign policy address in Washington, this photo ran like wildfire on the Internet. It's from Obama's 2006 visit to Kenya. Local tribesmen gave him the turban and wraparound. Today, the gossip and news site, The Drudge Report, claimed the photo came from the Clinton campaign. I know nothing about it. This is, a, this is in the public domain. I don't know where it came from. But let's just stop and ask yourself, why are you, why is anybody concerned about this? The Obama campaign was furious, calling it the most shameful, offensive fear-mongering we've seen. Today, Clinton did not clarify whether her campaign might have had something to do with it or not. And so we asked her communications director. I think we have, whether it's over or roughly, 700 people on this campaign. Uh, and I have no idea if anyone on the campaign uh, sent uh, this email. The, the Clinton campaign has it. trotted out damaging and controversial information the before and then plays dumb or apologizes. Before New Hampshire, a Clinton aide hinted of Obama's drug usage 25 years ago. Another kept pointing out Obama's middle name, Hussein. Is this part of the same pattern? Well, so far, we don't know. But whoever released it clearly is trying to play on fears uh, in the populace that they assume exist, that um, this fellow whose father was Kenyan and who has uh, some links to the Muslim world, reflected in his name, uh, among other places, um, that this is a source, that this should be a source of, of trepidation or of fear. And in December, two Clinton volunteers in Iowa resigned after forwarding a bogus email falsely claiming Obama is a Muslim intent on destroying the country. For the record, Obama is a Christian, a member of the United Church of Christ, and he says he has never been a Muslim. Liz? All right, David, thank you.